Digital vintage with an easy workflow. Say hello to Fujifilm's X-T20. What up, Ace Fan? This is Kitty with the Total Visuals. There's still photographers and cinematographers keeping it classic, which proves film is not dead. Most of us hopefully got a chance to start on film and learn the bittersweet hard way. But nowadays, most of us are shooting to post it up on IG or YouTube for the most part. We can't deny that the look of film touches a special place in our hearts, but we also want to shoot hundreds of photos and view it as soon as we get on our laptops or upload them to our phones. This is why we love Fujifilm series. Getting the silver edition build will help you look retro, aka modern vintage hipster vibes. But ain't nothing wrong with that. Basic stats. The body is made out of a magnesium alloy with plastic buttons. The manual dials are satisfyingly clicky. Just like the aperture ring on the Fuji lenses. This is the best shutter button. Listen. You can screw on various release shutter buttons to not only add a touch of flare, but to reduce camera shake. The three inch touchscreen tilts and the OLED viewfinder is nice. You can use the touchscreen for touch focus, shutter, and to flip through photos, but it's not accessible when changing menu settings. There's a pop-up flash, which is something I don't use, but it's there. Now I know she looks pretty on the outside, but it's what's on the inside that counts. She got 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, uses RAF RAW files, easy to navigate menu system, and not to mention this quick button, which makes it customizable to the max. God, do I wish Sony's menu settings had this simplicity. Battery life is average. You'll get around 350 shots per battery. If you're shooting all day, make sure to have two or three with you. All the color profiles are amazing, which makes it easy as fuck to edit. So here's some examples. Can you feel me? Can you feel me? Can you feel me? I found myself coming back to classic chrome. This one was my favorite. Astia Soft for more yellows and Acros Plus G Filter for black and white were also really nice. For post-production, be sure to set film simulation if you're editing RAW in Lightroom under camera calibration. If you're planning to shoot in JPEG, you could use Fujifilm Camera Remote to transfer them to your phone and edit with Visco. I'd recommend to shoot it in RAW plus JPEG just for that backup. Kali All Starring is a great example. He shoots all his portraits on Fujifilm JPEG and edits in Visco. And that's it. Talk about a fast and easy workflow. In terms of video, the XT20 gives you 4K 24p, 1080 60p, but you'll be limited on record times. 10 minutes 4K and 15 minutes on HD. For audio, you're stuck with a 2.5 millimeter mic input, but you could use their Fujifilm mini shotgun microphone, or you could purchase an adapter to use with your standard 3.5 millimeter connections. Even so, you can't monitor audio without using an HDMI port. There's no F-log, but you can shoot in pro negative standard for a flatter profile. If you're really set on taking advantage of Fujifilm's colors with video, I would consider the X-T2. The battery grip on the X-T2 extends the video recording to 30 minutes and has a headphone jack. On the body, it includes a 3.5 millimeter mic input with access to audio monitoring. The X-T2 has better low light performance and has F-log. However, both have rolling shutter and no in-body image stabilization, which has been a huge selling factor with mirrorless cameras lately, so this may or may not be a deal breaker for you. The options for video aren't really great, but that's understandable. A full-frame Fujifilm optimized for video, 
I can only dream, can't I? The XF line of Fuji choices have great optics and are reasonably affordable. There's a Fuji Film 35 a 1.4, a 53mm equivalent. There's also a cheaper one with the F2, which is what I have right here. Silver edition too. Other great primes are the Fuji 16 1.4, which is 24mm equivalent, Fuji's 90mm F2, 137 millimeter popular portrait lens. Great zooms for the Fuji film are the Fuji 16 to 55 2.8, which is a 24 to 70 millimeter equivalent. Fuji film has an ultra wide 10 to 24 millimeter F4, which is equivalent to 15 to 36 millimeter. And lastly, Fuji films 50 to 140 millimeter 2.8, which is a 75 to 210. This is the best telephoto zoom in my mind. And if I haven't listed your favorite, please shout it out in the comments. A few other differences between the X-T20 and its older brother X-T2 is that the X-T2 is bigger and heavier with weather sealing. It contains two SD card slots, joystick, extra collar under the dials for meters and drives, and you can tilt the screen up when shooting in portraits. The X-T20 has touchscreen and flash. Other than that, they share the same sensor, same lenses, same battery, and same focus points. Not to mention the same film simulations. The number one con with the X-T20 is the ergonomics. The grip is too small and you can't access battery and card when a quick plate is on it. The thread is also not centered with the lens. It's pretty much a necessity to get a metal grip to solve these problems. My thumb kept pressing this right button, so I had to custom set it to do nothing, which is a waste. So who is this camera targeted to? It's the best option in the mid-range for beginners, someone who wants to upgrade from photography. It's great for street, food, and portrait photos. It's a fun vintage-themed camera with attractive colors straight out of camera, so minimal editing is required to blast them out to social media. Will it ever be my main for client work? Probably not but it brings back the joy of film cameras without worrying about light leaks, developing, and limited frames. Video on this would be a challenge, and it's not a priority for Fujifilm, so I'd keep it as a photo camera for Instagram. Thanks for hanging out with me. Everything mentioned will be in the description box for reference. I have more video content on the way, so subscribe and let me know your favorite vintage toy down in the comments. It could be anything. Find me on Instagram for more examples with the X-T20 and stalk me in my stories. You do you, always, and I'll see you when I see you, fam. Mm, done. If you've never shot on film before, what are you doing? Go find your dad's old camera and use it for a good month. Trust me, having limited amounts of frames and no screen will change the way you shoot. For the better. Thank me later. Not to mention the same film. The number one con with the X-T20 is the ergonomics. <laughs> ergonomics.